So what's under your wig is super, super important. It needs to be extremely flat at the top. That's a dead giveaway. If you got a hump going on at the top, everybody knows it's a wig. So this is the preferred braid up that I absolutely love and live by. But if you can't braid, then you need to get yourself a low bun and one of these caps to keep your stuff flat and nice. It, it will always look super wiggy. Never judge it based on that first initial trend. We're gonna make this look fabulous. Because this is for ultimate beginners, we're not gonna even get into um, trying to customize the entire hairline. Because if you're a true, 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 true beginner who's intimidated with all that stuff, then all that is just gonna scare you and you might mess up the wig. So let's just, Let's just start somewhere. Let's start with a full lace wig, but we're gonna focus on the main part that we part. So I'm gonna go right ahead and I'm gonna cut off the lace. So I know there's a lot of people who are actually afraid to cut the lace themselves. Don't worry, don't be alarmed, just follow the hairline. The hairline is given to you, it's a guide. Take your time and just slowly cut right along that hairline. All right, so now once you've cut off your lace, it's time to try it on again for fit. So you can see what kind of adjustments that you need to make and where you'll need to put your bands. Okay, so now we're trying it on for fit. So for me, it's, it's too big right here, right? So I'm gonna add a band inside, right in here, to allow it to fit right back here. I'm actually gonna measure from here to here, where the band's gonna actually be sitting. And then I'm just gonna remove an inch from that. And that will give me good tension. And now that I have my measurement, I'm going to sew just beneath that little flap right there on each side. So you can see this is the first side that I did. And then I sewed the next piece onto the other side. Really straightforward and simple. All right, forehead to the front, strap back. Tuck the clip in, clip it up. Now I'm just making sure that everything is sitting good. My braids are tucked in and I'm gonna let that little flap sit in front of my ears. Um, and now I'm gonna find my middle part, which I'm a middle part girl. So if you're a side part girl, do that side part, but I'm gonna focus on the middle cause that's where I'll mainly wear this unit. Okay, now let's talk about positioning. Where exactly on your hairline should it sit? Some people have smaller foreheads, like my forehead's not very big, so I don't have that much room. But if I put my frontal in front of my hairline, like uh, my, my wig in front of my hairline like this, it just doesn't look as natural. Because I don't have any more curve in my forehead. But if I shift it back just a little bit, sit right on top of my hairline, kind of leaving out just a tad bit of my baby hair, then I find it makes a world of a difference. It's off my face a little, it's not as heavy and it's not as Planet of the Ape-ish. You know what I'm saying? So once you found your preferred part, it's time to lock it in. So the best way to do that is to wet it. Wet the frontal, wet the closure, and that's gonna help you direct the hair in the right position and allow it to lay as flat as you would like. Another option is to also use styling mousse and that as well will help to keep the hair in place. So after you've used your liquid of choice, it's time to dry it. So you're just gonna dry it in place and make sure that all the net top <laughs> is nice and flat. It's coming together. Okay. Now we're gonna get up and close and clean up this part. So you see, I'm just taking out the little hairs that are in the way that are not making my part look as defined and I'm setting it up to then use my tweezers and pluck out just little hairs along that path. You don't wanna overdo it. You just wanna take one or two hairs and then move along to the back, move towards the back. So one or two hairs, towards the back, towards the back. I don't like to do a perfectly clean straight part just because my own hair never parts that way. So I might as well do it as close to what my natural hair would look like as possible. So at this point, I pulled the wig further down onto my forehead. Reason being because my forehead allows me to see right through the lace to see where I need to remove little hair. So you can see right there, I need to kind of remove those pieces. So I don't wear it there, but I do pull it down just so that my scalp kind of shows through a bit more to help me tweeze better. So you see that? Just take your time. 
Take your time, don't go ham on this. Take one little hair at a time, reposition it, and then check in and come back. Don't do too much, because unless you're into ventilating, you ain't putting it back. So when it's gone, it's gone. So after you've tweezed your part a bit, I'm just gonna comb out the extra hair there. See all that? Doesn't look like you're taking out much, but you're taking out a lot, so be careful. Now it's time to shift her back. Next up, I take my beauty blender that has old product. I do not put any new products on it, and I just lightly pat it, and you see that spot right there that's super light? That's where the lace changes in the wig. So see, I'm adding pigment there, just so it looks a little bit more like my skin and not like a weird, ashy, like, gray. Then I take the little flaps that I placed right before my ear, and I flip them under and tuck them right back underneath the wig. So this is not useful right now to you, especially because you're just starting out and you're not going to be tweezing your whole hairline so you're not you don't really need these you could cut them off if you like but i like to just tuck them in one of the great benefits of a full lace wig is that it's so flat look at that look how flat that is to my head and although this wig is just long i got a little spontaneous and i was like yeah i'm gonna get it off ah. so i did if you guys want a video on how i cut this look it's really easy it was really quick i can make a um a different video for that but yes so i cut it off and then i decided to wave her up honey with this conair curling iron i will have the name of this curling iron in the description box below because it is the best cheap curling iron i will say that I have ever bought. So you guys can read the description box for the info on this curling iron as well as all of the details regarding this wig and to find out how you can save some chubna honey. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm in love with this look right now. Fall is my time to jazz it up with the color. I want to be like 